Hi guys, this is Mrs. Hartgraves. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Here's some of the things that we're gonna be doing today. What I want you to do is really simple because we've studied this a little bit, okay? Now remember that a self-portrait and a portrait is different because the self-portrait is a drawing of yourself. You knew that. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, I wanna know how you're feeling today, all right? This is an easy thing, okay? What I want you to do is make a picture of yourself. Now, no stick figures. You know what I mean. I'm always yelling at you about stick figures, okay? Try to draw yourself. Now, it doesn't have to be accurate, but it can be about how you feel. So what I'm gonna do is show you a couple of things like the first thing I'm going to show you is the scream by Monk and if you notice color has a lot to do with things have you ever heard anybody say I'm green with envy means you're mad okay um I'm blue okay colors relate emotions okay so if you were gonna make, if you were kind of uh, depressed and down, would you make yourself red? Probably not. You'd probably make yourself blue, or um, turquoise, or purple, like a cooler color, maybe, maybe green. Okay. If you are angry, what what, what color would you use? If you said red or thought red, you're right, okay? I'm gonna show you my next, my next sets of videos is one I'm gonna show you Monk. It's called The Scream, okay? The Scream is terror. That's kind of what they're, it's called expressionism. They're expressing, expressing an emotion, okay? So, they used colors like orange. I think orange would fear. It could be not much anger, it's more fear. And they also used two colors opposite on the color wheel. Does anybody remember what that is? You remember what that's called? Complementary colors, okay? Now, with Frida Kahlo, I'm gonna show you after that, Frida Kahlo did a self-portrait of her as a wounded deer. And she also did a picture of herself as kind of depressed because she was very sickly. So you see a lot of blues, a lot of greens. She was down a lot. And for the last picture is Picasso. Picasso went through a blue period where everything he painted was blue. Maybe he was a little down, okay? Maybe he's a little anxious, like he had anxiety. Maybe like he was down, okay? What I want you to do is for your assignment is you're going to draw a picture of you and how you're feeling. I know that we're going through a lot and maybe you're lonely, maybe you're angry, maybe you're just bored. How would you relate that picture to me in a way that I could understand how you're feeling. Now think about color, think about shape, think about filling up your whole paper. Now if you can't get to colors and you have to do things in black and white because you only have a pencil, could you shade it a certain way? All right, put some thought into this. I wanna see what you come up with. I'm going to be planning a Zoom meeting with all the different classes so you guys can personally talk to me, all right? So what are you going to do with this? Think about it. This isn't complicated, but it can like relieve some stress. It can relieve some anxiety. It can make you happy. Maybe you're, maybe you're really hopeful and you have a big rainbow over yourself, okay? This isn't gonna last much longer, so Think about what you want to relate to me so I understand how you feel, okay? Blessings to all of you. Stay safe. I'll talk to you next week.